1991 Lexus complaint poor cooling and hasn't cooled that well I guess since uh, it was first done so 1991 I don't know what model Lexus this is you guys who know Lexus's could tell me but uh, one thing I could see right there look uh, 150 viscosity peg PAG I can tell you that's the wrong oil. That's like thick molasses. That's like gear oil. Would you put gear oil in your 2024 Honda Civic that takes zero W40 or zero W8 refrigerant? That's the equivalent. You're literally putting molasses in place of something that's as thin as water or gasoline. Uh, not the right PAG oil that was retrofitted into the system. Uh, one, when I went to pull off the the cap on the retrofit fitting the whole retrofit fitting came out in my hand instead of the cap uh, that's where you often get them there if they leak bypass the um, valve core then since this is not on tight then you lose your charge through there at least I see they got some dye in there you can see it's green and you can see it's attached to the wrong side again this is really common I always show you guys this this suction line going to the compressor but then the poa valve is located right under the cruise control right here so over here you might have five psi 10 psi that is normal pressure on this suction line but if you see back darker i mention this every time you see that second cap buried way down there where you almost can't get your fingers to that is the proper that is the evaporator suction line that is the evaporator pressure that is the correct port to hook up to not this port so you know the jerk off cans the one where they use the little uh green thing and it says fill up to this point and you'll be correctly charged you'll be way overcharged on this one because this is where everyone screws up is by using that there um all right i'll be back i'm looking for a leak on this one too and let's see i have the volkswagen should be ready by now. So the Volkswagen original condenser, it just had to be removed to replace. So you can see it's a little beat up. That's the original one. All this had to come off. This was all replaced right here. I'm down to 251 microns and dropping. So we're getting down there on that one. And then I was doing some experimentation since I'm here on three vehicles all at one time. This Lexus over here is getting an aftermarket condenser, but I want to also see how fast and how dry I could get it down uh, with the recovery unit. So I have it recovered down to 800 microns. Then I put it the small vacuum pump, the 2F CFM battery. Uh, that was the last recorded, uh, that's what I was getting right there with the little tiny vacuum pump. But there's no leak in this, it just has nicks on it. It had its full charge basically inside there. This is the OEM condenser. And if you could see, by judging to my fingers, how many the tubes, the refrigerant passage tubes, if you go from one end of my finger, uh, you count up to the top of my finger and you got one, two, three, four, five. You got five refrigerant passage tubes within the width of my finger. And if we come to the good old aftermarket, what do we got going here? Oh, it looks similar. We might not be too, too bad. Let's see. We got one, two, three, four. Almost five. So it looks like when I give a uh, tube count, it will come up a little less then the OEM, the fin count is pretty close. Let's see, where, where's our fin count? Let's take a really good look at this. Let's put my finger there as reference. I, I have my calipers in my car. Take a good look at that. And we come over this one. I think the fin count is pretty close. Yes, the fin count might be within two, one or two fins per inch. We'll, I'll get the veneer calipers over there and I'll check that out and uh, give you an update of, which is this? Distributed by, okay, there you go. And the little tag. 
So I'll come back on these three vehicles and give you an update on what I found. That one looks uh, better than most. So it might be a decent replacement. See you guys later. The only thing is it's different, I know for a fact. If you cut open these fins, these tubes, you cut through here in a saw and you take a side view of the finnage, how many fins inside the tube, and then you come over to these and you cut these open on the inside, you'll see there's about half as many fins on the inside of the refrigerant tubes as the OEM.